Oh, man. I'm going to look so bad up there. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. I'm here today with my boy, Rustin Rigdon. And I'm going to relearn how to switch hit. A little switch hitting 101 here. Let's get it. All right, folks, we got a nice little Bermuda grass middle school field here. Super short porch out at uh, West Lawrence here. But the real prize is the trees behind the fence. That tree line out there. We'll show you some pictures. It's like 400, it's like 400, 410, 420. We actually have the wrap Soto today as well. So we got the new 3.0 thing looks sleek, man. We'll have some exit velos on here. Let's go. All right, so we got a switch hitter right here. So when did you start? Switch hitting. 13. 13 years old. So that's actually pretty old for a lot of people. So I switch hit in college. I've lost it, kind of. My, my lefty swing is, is bad, boys. <laughs> you started like fully in games when you were 13. Before that, when you were like 10, 11, 12, did you mess around with it at all? Yeah, I would do it in blowout games. Blowouts, yeah. I started when, when I was about 11. I would mix it into games. I went full time, yeah, around like 14 years old. I would say the latest I would start is like 13. Yeah. I'd say like if you can, start when you're 10, 11, 12, the earlier you start, the more naturally that opposite side of the plate swing is gonna come to you. So you're a natural righty? Yeah. Okay, I'm a natural righty as well. We'll start from the right-handed side of the plate. I'm, I'm good at that. I can hit some righty bombs. We'll start with that, then I need to learn how to hit lefty. He's got a sick lefty swing. We'll do that next. Oh, this, this fence is way too freaking short. Ooh. Ooh. Boy. Get. All right, we're creeping up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start. All right, folks, so bat for the day. I freaking love it. The Louisville Slugger Atlas right here, 3330. Let's get the cracking on there. So we have the fence, short port doesn't really count. Kind of 100 feet back, we have that tree line. So if we get one like, into the middle of the trees. That, that's the tank, so. Uh, right hand, it's too easy. Uh, base of the trees. Dude, I'm feeling good today, bro. Oh, it's, it's gonna be a good day, man. Oh yeah, I can do right handed. Dude, that was my favorite swing ever. That's high 90s, right? 101. 101, dude. That's 100, for sure. 107. Okay, 107 so far. I'm surprised if I get even 100 left-handed. Oh, that's gotta be trees. Oh, that's gotta be trees. If that's not trees, I retire. Yes, yes baby! All right, so uh, big question with switch hitting. And I think where I see a lot of people go wrong is, is like practicing and, you know, like off season prep and like learning how to switch hit. So like on a practice day, you know, you're just getting some swings in. You guys have like rounds of five and BP, for example, you take like double swings, right? Yeah. So that, I think that's, that's the hardest part about switch hitting. You literally have to do double the hitting work. You're developing two different swings, yeah. man. It definitely took me some time to get used to it. Yeah. That's why, I mean, you got, you got to start young, bro, yeah. as young as possible. And then I've actually seen some people like Cooper Kelly from Kansas. He liked to swing the Cat X Connect from the right side and the goods from the left side. I heard you actually swing two different sizes yeah. on each side of the plate. I swung 32 and a half hazardous left-handed and the uh, 32 Z1000 right-handed. So you swung a different bat and a different size. It just felt right. So you, you wanted a shorter bat, easier to swing on the right yeah. side. Do you feel like you have more bat speed on the left side? Yeah, just because of getting more swings in game and stuff. So like over the years, you've developed a little more juice on the left side of the plate just because you hit lefty more. Yo, that's crazy. Behind that thing. Oh, trees. For sure. Top of the trees. Hey. Boy. All right, lefty. This is uh this is where the tide turns a little bit. <laughs> I'm I'm not very excited about this. Oh. oh man. I'm gonna look so bad left-handed, bro. They're gonna be close. Boy. That sounds so good, dude. 
It's your top of the day, 95.6. Oh! So, you've only been switch hitting full time for three years? Yeah. Well, I guess this will be your fourth? Mm. 95. Yeah. Woo! Go ball. Oh. Go ball. Oh, oh that's, that's a big right boy. 95-7. He's hitting like high launch angle balls faster than his liner is right. Abby Rutschman, best switch hitter I know. Way more juice left in. <laughs> Way more. 96-7. Yo. That a boy. Oh, that is new. That a boy. Oh, dude, he's almost hitting 400. 97-2. Dude. All right, so I haven't switched hit since year one of the Bat Bros. I actually had some juice. I'm just very inconsistent. I think I've lost it. They say it's like riding a bike. It ain't. It's, it's not that easy. I feel like I need to think of someone's swing. Yeah, I don't really know. Rustin Riggins. Yeah, Rustin Riggins. <laughs> oh, dude, that was not bad. That's up for 90s. Not even one, nine. <laughs> I thought I hit that kind of hard. 84. 84. <laughs> That's still not even 95. 91. Gosh. This is what happens when you don't take as many lefty swings as you do righty swings. I used to be a good left-handed hitter, and I literally have lost it. <laughs> yes! See? Every now and then. I'll catch it. Soft. That was still... 95? 96. Seven. 96. I'm down 10 miles an hour so far. I feel cool. I feel like my swing's cool. Oh! I need advice, dude. You should pull it off. So just try to go middle. Yeah. Middle backside. Yeah. All right. Nice. There we go. You can go back to pulling off. Yes. That was a new. I can't hit the. I can't hit the trees though. Hundred. 97. Seven. Oh. Oh, dude, I... So, why does a person start switch hitting? Like, why did you start switch hitting? What's the benefit of it? I just think it's easier hitting from opposite hand. For me, dude, it was righty on righty sliders. Yeah. That was tough. And just, like, left-handed, that's, like, it becomes kind of easy to hit. Yeah. Have you ever faced lefty-lefty? I actually had to when I first came back from my broken foot. It was weird. I hit a double, though, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Ninety-seven nine. Oh, he's, he's got winning. Me. Oh. See ya. Oh, see ya. We teased it in the intro. Take some hacks with the Mac and Cheese gun. Have you ever hit hundred? Uh uh. All right. Ooh. Ooh. That's got to be close to hundred, bro. That is one hundred point four. Oh, let's go. Trees. 100.4. Oh! And one thing that really helped for me when you start out switch hitting, like don't start off of live. Like learn to like develop that smooth swing off the tee. Honestly, dude, like I don't know about you, but I learned in like wiffle ball. Yeah. There's like backyard stuff. Dude, feeling it. Feels a lot better. Pretty good hands. 90? 86. 86. The velo is down tremendous. Oh, 100. 98. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I can't get big, dude. It doesn't work. Oh, there we go. I can only hit out over the plate. If it's inside, I I'm helpless. 97. 90. Ooh, that was like my best hit. Oh, oh I should have swung. That's like the best I can hit it. What's below? 93. Oh my gosh. I think that is a really good indicator of if you're ready as a switch hitter. Your boy, down, literally down 10 miles an hour. Your non-natural side, you're hitting higher velos. That like, you need to be there before you're gaming. At least like in a serious game, that's the standard to be at. It needs to look the same, if not better. It needs to feel the same, if not better. And the results need to look the same if not better. So I'm not ready yet. I'm gonna officially retire the left-hand side of the box. All right, folks, main takeaways today for switch hitting. 
Number one, if you're gonna do it, you gotta start really young. Seriously, I'd recommend 10, 11 years old if possible. Rustin's a rare case where he was able to start at 13, but I started when I was 11 and still felt like I was a little bit rusty by the time I was in high school. Number two, you can't just split your swings in half from the left and right side of the plate. You need to practice and take double the amount of swings. Your coach might get mad at you, but if you're really gonna switch it, that's what it's gonna take, and you're gonna need to get extra work and extra swings outside of practice. Number three, you gotta know when you're ready. Exit velo, feel, technique, all needs to prove that you're ready to hit on the opposite side of the plate. We have that Rapsodo data today, and I'm clearly not ready, and uh, Rustin is absolutely clearly ready. So it needs to feel right, the mechanics need to look right, even to stats and games. If you're not putting up numbers left-handed and you are putting up numbers right-handed, you're clearly not ready yet. And then number four, make sure you're doing it for the right reason. If you're a righty and you mash against righties, or if you're a lefty and you mash against lefties, don't switch hit. You should only switch hit if you struggle against that righty on righty slider, if you struggle against that lefty on lefty sinker that breaks into you, make sure you're doing it for a reason. Don't just do it because it's cool. Do it because you genuinely think it's gonna help you out. So there you guys have it. Huge thank you to our boy, uh, Rustin, for coming out. That That's kind of the ideal, right? Like if you're gonna switch hit, you ideally wanna look like that. So if you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Peace out.